sitting in this mid lane, building up, getting kind of tanky as the game goes on. And with that double buff on double lift, it, it's really just going to be so difficult uh, for Lulu to control that. That wasn't supposed to be a pun. Come on, give me a no, 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 no. Just, just take credit for the pun. Just take credit for it. I don't it. want credit for the pun. You're, you're, you're getting credit for it. I don't care. But we do see, uh, you know, Chowster coming up here. Going to see maybe a tower dive on Boy Boy. And that's, you know, one of the strengths of Lulu. If you get those early uh, tower dives, Dignitas actually going to go for this dragon. And being able to take that dragon will definitely be huge. Bring them into an advantage so that they can, you know, stall out the game until that super uh, point. We actually have Gangplank and Lee Sin coming on the, I mean, Cutie Pie. There's the exhaust, the ultimate going off. They will chase him down, but the rest of the team is here. They're going to turn the tides. Whirlwind not hitting. And then no cleave, but they are able to get Cutie Pie out of there after getting that dragon. Cutie Pie kicked away, could have hit a few members of Dignitas, but they're just a little bit too far away. But we have now the presence once again in bot lane. St. Vicious trying to do what he can, just cannot land that Q. But it looks like Chowster and Doublelift are pretty much free farming top lane at this point. Boy Boy returning to base with full health. We got, uh, let's try it. We have another switch coming on actually. Boy Boy going to be going back down to bot lane. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm curious, you know, at what point we're going to start seeing this aggression from CLG ramping up. It's, I mean, they're really at that kind of stage of the game. We've seen some aggressive play from them so far. Dominate actually going to be trapped here if they engage. Uh, Chowster not the going. We got the they wall. didn't have good vision, but that's a nice chunk of damage on the Dominate there. So, you know, definitely not tanky enough to deal with the you know, burst that CLG has at this point. So, right, so we have a switch once again. Lulu going bottom once again. Cutie Pie going back up top. And Double F has to defend all by himself. Chowster's not too far away. But we also see Dominate popping the ult, getting a little bit of health back just so we can stay in those fights a little bit longer. And Boy Boy actually pushing down Hotshot in bot lane. Right to tower, right where they want him. And Chowster and Double F have to defend. Pulverize, no head but to connect. They just want to get him away. And here we see uh, enough mana on Anivia right now to just, you know, push against that push from Soraka. Soraka just really aggressively pushing. Um, you know, could maybe slow down Big Fat's farm, but uh, once the blue buff's up again, it will be up in about 30 seconds, so they will be able to take that. Or actually, uh, no, it won't, because they actually went for um, a different jungle path. But it'll, it'll still be up in like a minute. Should be up soon. Should be up soon. So we now, now things are getting a little bit, a little bit stagnant because now both teams are getting to a point where they're kind of content with just free farming. Both teams is very passive farm. The gold very even, even though CLG is one kill up. So Dignitas does have slightly superior farm overall, but uh, yeah, at this point, both teams just trying, just, just they're just they're just flat out pushing. Not a whole lot happening right now. I mean, I, I think a lot of it comes down to the fact that. You know, CLG, they have a short range team. They can't push down towers. They, you know, Mundo is one of the best junglers in the game. So, you know, you're not really going to counter jungle Dignitas that much. And Dignitas was able to take the dragon earlier. So CLG doesn't really have the best opportunities right now. Their primary goal is to just, you know, kind of farm up for a second. See if you can take any advantages and then wait for dragon to spawn. Uh, wait until you have a little bit more of an advantage to see what you can do. And then uh, obviously Dignitas wants to just wait until their late game power comes to fruition. Boy Boy decided to back in a little, get a uh, blasting wand, a little bit extra AP, and some awards. Because we got the vision on Dignitas right now is pretty good. We got our rivers covered, we got a little nice offensive ward. But uh, right now, wards for CLG, we only have one defensive ward in the bot tribush, and one defensive ward in the top tribush as well. Actually, no, we got one freshly placed top river as well. So actually, we got, we got some nice equal vision. And I think it's interesting, Soraka getting that fast Will of the Ancients along with her heals. She's going to have that spam ability with the Q. Uh, I actually realized I should have been looking at what her abilities are. There's actually, she's been maxing Q first. So Q into W. So there you go for your AP Soraka. Uh, that used to be kind of the old build. She's only getting one point into silence because it doesn't give her mana anymore. But uh, that spam ability, you know, definitely gives her that control. And so Anivia going to be taking that blue buff. Um, you know, we'll see what uh, Big Fat is able to do with it in this uh, upcoming fight. Cutie Pie and Double F dead even when it comes to creep kills right now. In the mid, Soraka, 118, 120, again, dead even. How's Hotshot doing? Hotshot, 83, Lulu, 81. Again, it's, it's wow. And Two I, evenly skilled teams. I Game three of a wonderful series. I, it really is, even. and I think it's interesting. The Soraka pick, even though Soraka's mana you know, was nerfed, it was... 
they kind of made the change to be like, yeah, you have to kind of make a decision of how you want to conserve your mana as Soraka now. Well, it doesn't seem to be an issue because, you know, Skara has enough mana regen. I'm assuming he has some mana regen from his Runes and Masteries. But actually, we have Hotshot GG and St. Vicious coming in here. They won't be able to get in. But with just a Doran's Blade, Soraka hasn't been getting the blue buffs. Blue buffs have been going to Void Boy. Uh, with just a Doran's Blade or Doran's Ring, Skara has been able to sustain throughout this entire game. Juking away from that stun. But you know, once we hit the late game though, oh, but oh, we, we have the head to pass. Uh, Chouster out in front trying to focus on QB5. We got the heals going down and we got Locust with the ult to try and blow him away. But Double Lift still in pursuit, did ult. We'll get away. Yeah, and so they will be safe in that lane. Janna able to get him out of there. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll see whether or not we maybe see a tower dive, whether we see any aggression once Lee Sin starts making his way up top. Um, or if they're really just going to stall out for that next uh, pair. So we actually heard Dragon, but we actually see a good exchange here. Locust and Double, I uh, have Pie chasing down Double if almost going to be able to pick up that kill. Chouster just going to headbutt him out of there. So they will be safe in that top lane. Fair, yeah, it's, it's pretty much like standstill right up top. It's like you can't get. They can't, they can't finish the job. They can't get the fight in there. But, uh, you know what, so we have Double Lift going to back. We got a Bloodthirster on Vayne now, so that's quite a bit of extra damage. Gonna go ahead and farm that up. We did have some nice changes to it recently. Don't lose all the stacks when you die. So in the event of an unfortunate death, it's, it's not gonna take as long to farm that thing back up. Wow, Kitty Pie just, you know, working on Chouster there while he's alone. Uh, able to get some nice damage off, and Dragon is up, so we'll see whether or not teams start grouping for it, but Dignitas definitely has the man advantage, so uh, we actually have Chouster jumping onto I mean, Cutie Pie. There's the exhaust. Double if gonna chase him down. That's almost certainly gonna be a kill. We'll see the, whether Cutie Pie can come in. Won't but be Chouster able to kill get Chouster. Away, Chouster. So uh, that's, there's a kill on Cutie Pie. It's going to be exchanged for this dragon, but that's also going to turn into a tower top. And in the meantime, we actually have Voivoy chasing onto Hotshot. He's gonna get some nice damage off, throws off his ultimate for that slow. But just going to back off, not going to dive it. Not enough damage, just uh, you know, great survivability. And Dignitas, in the meantime, will also pick up that uh, dragon as well. So we're gonna go ahead, back to town, a little bit extra gold, but still the gold, it's still even between both these teams, pretty much. But uh, Double Lift has taken down a tower, so it's a little bit, a little bit more gold for CLG now. I mean, you have to really look at it. That tower was exchanged for a kill on Cog. It was exchanged for two towers. Or sorry, that dragon was exchanged for a kill and two towers. So that was definitely a huge advantage for CLG. They gave up the t uh, dragon willingly. They didn't want to contest it. They were like, hey, you know, we're going to take these other advantages. Uh, they know they don't have the best pushing comp. And if you can't push aggressively, then the game is going to stall. And so they don't want the game to stall into that late game, obviously, where Dignitas comes, you know, into their strength. So they're going to take towers whenever they can. And able to get those early towers, you know, allows them to end the game faster. Um, you know, obviously, and then try and end before Dignitas can, you know, pull off any magic. So what do you think is the, 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 the good time frame for CLG to possibly make their move, be aggressive, possibly uh, go for Baron to try and see if they can beat out Dignitas before things start getting into the real late game? Uh, it's, it's really tough to say, and we do have, you know, some nice harass from Kog'Maw. Um, I don't think that CLG wants to be so aggressive with a very quick Baron. They, you know, Big Fat, LP, uh, Anivia isn't really the best champion at dealing uh, d dealing with Baron. Gangplank and uh, Cog and Lee Sin, the three of them, will take it down very quickly. I'm sorry, uh, double lift on Vayne. So Gangplank, Vayne, and Lee Sin will take it down very quick, uh, quickly. We'll be able to tank, but it will probably, it'll probably be a while. It'll be until we get a kill. But um, we do have Saint just kind of camping this bottom lane. He's going to Q into Void Boy. There's the slow. So there's the uh, Polymorph, and they're going to be chasing. There's the Gangplank ultimate, but not able to chase down Void Boy. The Ignite going off. But it's actually interesting because Lulu's ultimate, it, you know, it's not a heal. It just gives you a flat HP. So, you know, Soraka, the heal's countered by Ignite. Lulu, not so much. And that's kind of where a lot of that synergy comes from. Wild Growth definitely saving her under her own tower. And uh, Cutie Pie and uh, Locust back up top lane. They don't have a tower to defend. It, tier 1 was taken down not too long ago. So if Chouster and Double Lift decide to push, they're going to be pushing them quite a ways back to tier 2. And in the mid, Big Fat and Skara still going at it. Skara and is, uh, we have still Creeps are pretty close. Creeps are still remaining pretty close between both these teams. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're definitely all just kind of clearing creep ways, uh, allowing each other to free farm. Not, you know, a whole lot of aggression, but um, it's interesting. You know, you would think Anivia, with her disables, 
would be an excellent opportunity to pick up kills against Soraka, but Soraka is able to get in those silences. Uh, you actually see Skara, when Nivea is coming in, trying to get in the Flash Frost, Skara running towards the Flash Frost because he knows he needs to get in that silence to prevent that killing potential from Nivea. And then, you know, once Nivea is silenced, uh, there's not a whole lot that Big Fat's going to be doing there. Yeah, we also a nice, uh, nice target for the silence with these same Vicious. Take down the mobility once we start getting into the team fight stage. And uh, now Ping's actually going down from, the, from uh, Dignitas towards the CLG blue buff. Possibly, uh, possibly an invasion coming in the future. I think, I think they have a nice idea where, uh, where, where CLG may be, may be searching around, but it looks like uh, Alistar will just go ahead and back. Chester making his way back to town. He's going to pick up. Got that Kindle gem. Going to be looking towards that Shirelia's very soon. But Double Lift is alone. Top lane, Locust cannot get in. There is a ward in that bush. So Double Lift knows. The rest of the Dignitas is here, but they're still going to go. Oh, double Lift a little bit indecisive. We got the slow coming in. We got the Cleaver. We got the Tornado. But we have the counter ult from Gangplank keeping Dignitas away. And, and you see, boy uh, boy, taking down Bot Turret in the meantime. You see Dominate with that Oracles is able to get that map control, not allow CLG to get any aggression. There's the wall.